deciding to stop taking metformin, a medication commonly used to manage type 2 diabetes, can be a significant decision influenced by various factors, such as side effects, other medical recommendations, or a shift in treatment strategy. In this video, we'll explore your body's adjustments after discontinuing metformin. Understanding these changes is crucial for anyone considering this step, as it helps prepare for managing health effectively in its absence. We aim to provide comprehensive and empathetic guidance during this transition. Number 1. Increased Blood Sugar Levels When a diabetic stops taking metformin, one of the most immediate and concerning effects is an increase in blood sugar levels. Metformin works by improving the body's sensitivity to insulin and reducing the amount of glucose the liver releases into the bloodstream. Without this medication, the body may not use insulin as effectively, and the liver may begin to produce more glucose, leading to higher blood sugar levels. This change can be particularly challenging as it increases the risk of diabetes-related complications over time, such as nerve damage and cardiovascular disease. It's essential for patients to monitor their blood sugar more frequently during this transition and consult healthcare providers for guidance on how to maintain optimal glucose control through diet, exercise, or possibly other medications. This proactive approach can help manage the risks associated with increased blood sugar levels effectively. Number 2. Weight Changes As we continue, please subscribe to this channel if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you. Weight changes are a common concern for diabetics who discontinue metformin. Metformin not only helps regulate blood sugar levels, but also has an effect on appetite, often leading to weight loss or stabilization. Without this medication, individuals might notice an increase in their appetite, leading to potential weight gain. This can be particularly disheartening for those who have struggled to manage their weight. It's crucial to understand that these changes are not a reflection of failing, but a natural response of the body adjusting to a new metabolic balance. To counteract weight gain, focusing on a balanced diet rich in nutrients and maintaining a regular exercise regimen can be highly beneficial. Consulting a dietitian for personalized advice can also be a practical step to manage and mitigate these weight changes effectively. Number 3. Return of Symptoms Stopping metformin can lead to the resurgence of symptoms associated with high blood sugar, such as frequent urination, increased thirst, and heightened hunger. This medication plays a crucial role in regulating these symptoms by improving insulin sensitivity and controlling glucose production in the liver. Without metformin, the body may struggle to maintain stable blood glucose levels, leading to the reemergence of these uncomfortable and disruptive symptoms. It's important for individuals to monitor their blood sugar closely if they discontinue metformin, as recognizing these signs early can help prevent more serious complications. Engaging with a healthcare provider to discuss alternative treatments or adjustments in lifestyle, such as diet and exercise, can be instrumental in managing these symptoms effectively and maintaining overall health. Number 4. Risk of Diabetes Complications Stopping metformin can heighten the risk of long-term diabetes complications, such as cardiovascular disease, nerve damage, kidney issues, and retinal damage. Metformin plays a pivotal role in controlling blood glucose levels, and without its stabilizing influence, these levels can become chronically elevated. High blood glucose can damage blood vessels and nerves over time, leading to these severe complications. This is why it's crucial for those discontinuing metformin to find alternative ways to manage their blood sugar effectively. Regular consultations with healthcare providers, vigilant monitoring of blood sugar levels, and adhering to a tailored diet and exercise plan are essential strategies. Understanding and addressing the increased risks promptly can help maintain quality of life and reduce the likelihood of severe diabetes-related complications. Number 5. Change in blood lipid levels. Discontinuing metformin may lead to changes in blood lipid levels, which can affect your cardiovascular health. Metformin helps to improve cholesterol and triglyceride levels by decreasing the liver's production of glucose, which indirectly reduces the liver's fat production. When metformin is stopped, this beneficial effect is lost, 
potentially leading to an increase in LDL, bad, cholesterol and triglycerides, and a decrease in HDL, good, cholesterol. This shift can elevate the risk of developing heart disease. It's important for patients to be proactive in managing these potential changes by seeking regular lipid profile tests and discussing dietary adjustments and possible medication alternatives with their healthcare provider. Adopting a heart-healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise and a balanced diet, is crucial in maintaining optimal lipid levels and overall health. Number 6. Gastrointestinal Adjustments Metformin is well known for its gastrointestinal side effects, such as nausea, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort. When you stop taking metformin, your gastrointestinal system may undergo adjustments as it adapts to the absence of the drug. These adjustments can manifest as a stabilization of digestive processes, potentially leading to reduced gastrointestinal discomfort, which many patients might find relieving. However, for some individuals, this transition can also trigger new digestive issues or the return of symptoms that metformin had been managing. It's important to monitor your digestive health during this period and communicate any significant changes to your healthcare provider. Adjusting dietary habits and incorporating probiotics or digestive aids may also help ease the transition and support digestive health. Number 7. Possible Effects on Vitamin B12 Levels Long-term use of metformin is associated with decreased absorption of vitamin B12, which can lead to deficiency over time. This occurs because metformin interferes with the calcium-dependent mechanisms that allow the intestine to absorb vitamin B12 effectively. When a diabetic stops taking metformin, one potential positive outcome is the normalization of vitamin B12 absorption, which could gradually correct the deficiency. However, if the deficiency has already established itself, simply stopping metformin might not be enough to resolve it. Individuals who have been on long-term metformin therapy should have their vitamin B12 levels checked and discuss with their healthcare provider the need for supplementation or dietary adjustments to boost B12 levels. Addressing this issue is crucial as vitamin B12 is vital for nerve function and the production of red blood cells. Number 8. Impact on Hormonal Balance Metformin is not only used for managing blood sugar levels in diabetes, but also plays a crucial role in treating conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, which is often characterized by insulin resistance and hormonal imbalance. By improving insulin sensitivity, metformin helps to lower insulin levels, which in turn can normalize hormonal levels, particularly reducing testosterone levels in women with PCOS. When metformin is discontinued, there may be a reversal in these hormonal adjustments. This can lead to the return of symptoms such as irregular menstrual cycles, acne, and excessive hair growth. For individuals experiencing these changes, exploring alternative therapies or lifestyle interventions that can help maintain hormonal balance and manage symptoms effectively is crucial. Understanding these impacts can empower patients to make informed decisions about their health care. Stopping metformin can lead to significant changes in the body, including increased blood sugar levels, weight fluctuations, and altered lipid profiles. It's important to be aware of these potential effects, monitor health closely, and consider lifestyle adjustments to manage and mitigate the impacts effectively after discontinuation. You might also want to watch this video on effective ways to lower high blood sugar. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.